Today's Sports Swigger tutorial is entitled Limit Overrun Race Conditions. To solve the lab, we must successfully purchase a leather jacket. We also get some credentials. Let's access the lab. Add a leather jacket to the cart and go to the cart. As you can see, the website has a promo code. If we use it, we get 20% off. If we try using it again, we get a coupon already applied message. Let's log in to our account with the provided credentials. Username winner, password Peter. If we go to our cart, we see that it's empty. This means that the state of the cart is stored server side. Because of this, there could be potential for collision. There might be a race window between when we apply the discount code and when the database is updated to reflect that we have applied the code. Add the leather jacket to the cart and apply the discount code. In Burp, search for the request that applies the coupon code and send it to repeater. You can do this by right-clicking inside the request window and selecting Send to repeater. Or you can use the shortcut Ctrl R. Now we want to send this request multiple times in parallel to hopefully make the server apply the coupon code multiple times before it has the chance to update the database. To do this, we are going to use Turbo Intruder. To install Turbo Intruder, go to extension, B App Store, search for Turbo Intruder, select the extension and click install. Back in Repeater, right click inside the request window and select extensions, Turbo Intruder, send to Turbo Intruder. The extension has some example scripts, search for race single packet attack and select it. What this does is queue 20 requests and then sends them all at the same time. Click attack. As you can see, 20 requests have been sent to apply the coupon code. All of them got the coupon already applied response because we already have a coupon applied. Go to the browser and remove the coupon. Now, if we click attack again, we can see that some of our requests got a coupon applied response. We've managed to apply the coupon multiple times before the server has had a chance to update the database. Go back to the browser and refresh the page. The leather jacket is still too expensive. Remove the coupon again and retry the attack. We will have to do this multiple times until we manage to get the leather jacket under $50. This time, the coupon was applied 19 times, so we can now buy the jacket. Click place order and the lab is solved. This is it for today. See you in the next one.